More than a thousand two hundred educators and policymakers are on top of developments in the teaching of Chinese after a national conference in Boston. The sixth National Chinese Language Conference was held in the capital of the Bay State from April seventh to ninth. Teachers and school and government administrators listened to discussions on a broad mix of topics related to the teaching of Chinese in the U.S. The event was organized by the Asia Society and the College Board in collaboration with the Beijing headquarters of the Confucius Institute, also known as Hanban, and the organization Primary Source. Society. Um, we, along with the College Board, are the co-organizers of the National Chinese Language Conference, which we've been doing for the last six years.、Um, the conference has grown、uh, over these six years from a conference for about 700 people to now more than 1,200. So we've grown tremendously, and we've seen over that six-year period an incredible increase in the interest among American students in, in learning Chinese and connecting with people in China. Our mission at Asia Society has always been,、um, in terms of our Chinese language work, to build a constructive Constructive and cooperative U.S.-China relationship for the future by helping connect Americans and Chinese with each other, and helping young students in both the U.S. and China to better understand each other and be able to collaborate and communicate more effectively. So this conference is a major.、Um, Tool for us, or, or lever for us, in, in helping build that U.S.-China relationship and mutual understanding. I would see the the future of Chinese,、uh, Chinese language education in the United States as certainly growing in a thoughtful way. So I think that everybody understands that Chinese is a very important language. Frankly, it always has been. I just think more people are understanding that now, and people are also understand that it's a difficult language to learn, and it needs more time to learn it than some Romance languages. So I see more and more lower grade students starting learning Chinese, even at kindergarten or preschool level, and building up in a very thoughtful pipeline through their elementary, middle, and high school years, and hopefully going on and in, in, into the university system and being outstanding at Chinese. You know, it's not just enough for us to have students learning Chinese. We want Students to learn Chinese well. Those on hand included Xu Lin, Director General of Hanban. She said she hopes more cultural exchanges are formed because they enhance understanding among people from the world's two largest economic powers. Yu Hanliu, China Daily, reporting from.